Hello, I am Peter and this picture was made in 30 minutes. But wait, what's interesting about it is the way I tell a flowing story through the time-lapse process of drawing it. Take a look! It is like an animation, isn't it? I was so excited to tell a visually interesting story in this format. This was my entry for the Paint One Battle of the Week on Instagram with the theme Underwater Plus Secret. I won, by the way. And in this video, I'll walk you through exactly how I made it in many technical details. But before I show you the exact way I made it in Clip Studio Paint, I'd like to show you the thought process behind it. So when I think of ocean, I think of underwater vastness. To go there, you might need a special protective suit. I had already done a couple of drawings featuring a deep diver, who is a very interesting visual to me, and the second one, in particular, that I did for Mermaid, Mermaid served as a direct inspiration for this. The idea is pretty much the same. The diver is looking for a sunk treasure, but is oblivious to the real treasure that no one has ever really proven to exist, the mermaids. I did a few style exploration sketches, as well as a sketch for roughly how the final image composition should be. I wanted to show more underwater dwellers and a hint of a titanic squid or something behind the mermaids, but I started really late and didn't practice, and since they were to appear last with the time pressure, I didn't manage to show the sea giants or, the, or even do the mermaids justice. I also played around with another idea of uh, him finding the plug to the ocean and maybe mistakenly unplugging it. Though I thought it would be a really funny image, but my wife thought it was too silly to try it and uh, I considered it and went with the deeper message. Since this time the challenge was to finish the piece in 30 minutes, and usually it is 20, I thought I have some more time and I can use that time to use the tools I have to make something that looks like an animation in the time lapse. Overall, I'm happy, very happy with how it came up, especially the diving part. It's got so much movement in it. I'm not very confident in the message of my final picture, but one can always do better. I see it as a challenge completed, perhaps not in the best possible way, but still I feel it shows growth in my skill. So I begin the canvas with a grey color as a background, because that is good for the eyes and it allows me to have uh, some kind of mystical, maybe um, some kind of mysterious atmosphere, let's say. Also, if you have grey as your main color in your picture, you can more easily bring out highlights with white or a lighter color, as well as shadows with darker color or black. So first I sketch out the water, just with a few lines indicate the waves, and with uh, white lines I indicate uh, some other waves and reflections. Then I use the lasso fill tool, it is one of my favorite tools, uh, to quickly indicate the shapes of the ship. So I have uh, one sh uh, shape on the left, lighter, and a bigger and darker shape on the right to indicate the shadowy side of the ship. It's a very simple way to indicate, okay, that's a ship there, some, uh, add some fogginess, make it look more mysterious and dark, it's going to be this kind of picture. Then I duplicate the layer and use the transform tool to enlarge the shape of the ship in order to make it uh, look like, like it's closer to us. And I do that a few times, which in the time lapse gives the impression that the ship is moving towards us, like animation. Having set this kind of tone, being it all dark, allows me also to be confident in making just simple shapes without many details. So with a different shade of grey, I draw out the shape of the diver, and then then I realized that I cannot easily show him jumping off the ship, I mean drawing it, drawing him jumping off the ship. So what I do is I move the whole layer up, little by little, which in the timeline will give the illusion that it's uh, scrolling, and then use the shape tool, I mean the lasso field tool, to draw out some more waves 
my moving the same layer up and up while also drawing out some more shapes that indicate fish waves some kind of bubbles and uh, this in time lapse when you do it uh, consistently enough will give the illusion that everything is moving up and the driver is uh, diving down going down in the sea so i make a separate new layer on which i'm going to use the lasso fill tool to fill out the shapes of the diver himself and once i have that ready i am going to keep him standing there while also i uh, make a new layer on top of him that is going to have more shapes of fish different kinds of ocean animals that are going to be moved again up and up and it's going to be really easy to get the illusion that he's diving more and more and little by little i am also going to use the gradient tool to start uh, putting some dark shadows on the sides which are going to indicate that he is going deeper where light is less and less reaching while also drawing some more animals that are going to be passing or other shapes that indicate animals or some kind of jellyfish sharks some more waves and just the uh, illusion of movement more darkness transform it add some more darkness until i just make him seem like he is now so deep that there is almost complete or totally complete darkness so the layer with the darkness is actually on top of the diver so i draw a little flash where the camera is uh, supposed to be and then use uh, an eraser of a kind to erase the darkness and this is going to give the illusion of light because as uh, you remember i have the gray layer underneath so it's a layer that is already lighter than the figure that i have and it's going to look like it's illuminated when i erased the darkness what i used actually was again the gradient tool but in the circular shape so i begin from the position of the flash and gradually little by little i erase bits and more bits of the darkness and that again is going to give the illusion in the timeless that it's flashing out and illuminating everything then i am using the brush to indicate a few different wooden beams that are supposed to be from a sunken ship so the further they go in the background the less distinct the light is the most of the light will be around him of course and then i use again the lasso fill tool to indicate a few more shapes one of them is uh, lit up so it's going to be a much brighter shade of the light color that i use some kind of yellowish color and the other one is going to be in shadow so i just use pure black another shape is going to be the treasure chest it's already been there for a long while so it's buried inside the sand and the things that have accumulated on the bottom of the sunken ship to give a much better indication that it is a ship actually i was afraid it's not as clear as i would like to so i tried to make a, a mact of a sort and use some rim lighting on the sides while putting it in the front as a front element also framing the picture in a way with it have some rugs from the supposedly the sails with just a few light indications and dark indications of the, the lasso fuel tool i tried to make a skeleton of uh, i guess one of the pirates that was grasping the treasure chest while it sunk and he died there as, with it then i wanted to indicate that okay he, the diver is reaching for the treasure chest and opening it so i started drawing that and it wasn't as easy and as fast as i'd like it to be so i gave up on that idea and basically erased the arms and again you can use the lasso fill tool to erase in clip studio you can paint you can use a transparent color which acts as an eraser it removes the color that is there draw him very quickly with change in his uh, the position of his hands and arms 
So now in his left hand he's raising the camera and with his right hand he is raising something from the treasure chest. If I don't use that tool then uh, I'm risking the time lapse to not be as interesting and as quick as I'd like it to be because if the time lapse is kind of tedious and uh, there is no constant change in what you're seeing then uh, it's not going to be as powerful in the presentation as it can be. For me personally, when looking at time lapse art battle videos, it's uh, the interesting thing is the storytelling. And storytelling is well made when it doesn't give you the option for you to get bored. You need to see constant change in what is going on. If uh, you already see a figure being drawn with lines and it takes a while, you're, you're seeing that it's going to be a figure, but it's not going out as quickly as you need it to see. So you see this figure, but it's uh, it takes a while for it to come out. While with the last of your two, you can make a figure in seconds and then add details where you need them. And because now the camera's light is not pointing at the camera, but at what he's holding, I use the selection tool to draw out a nice area of uh, cone light. And I use a new layer with light with some transparency to show where he is lighting the scene. Adding a layer with the setting of add glow is a nice way to show the shininess of the gold and also the reflections from the light that he's having there. And I draw little smiley eyes and uh, mouth in his uh, helmet, as well as the gold coin and the gold inside the chest. So it's to see that he's so happy he found what he was looking for, or something new that he didn't know. The point is, he's very happy with what he's found. And so with this, the first part, the main part of my idea is finished. But I notice I have only 7 minutes left to draw the rest, the twist. And the twist is, that there are mermaids around, hanging around there, that he is oblivious to. Now the time is tight, and also, as you can see, I haven't left enough space in the composition for the mermaids to have enough uh, space for them to hang out comfortably and not to boggle the composition down. And also the idea is for them to be kind of in the background, so that you don't notice them right away, and that I achieve that by having the diver being lit up by his light. So to indicate that they're in the background, only dimly lit, I'm going to add some rim light and with that I'm going to indicate their limbs and their faces. So there's one behind him that's just raising her shoulders and in a way saying, I don't know what he's doing here, he's so funny. And I wanted an interaction between her and her friend, that one is saying, I don't know what's going on here, and the other is saying, Shh, let's not startle him or something like that. So I drew another silhouette in front that we can see that he's actually surrounded by them. Then I thought, actually, a nice way to show her playfulness would be for her to make the two finger sign behind his head, like uh, the bunny sign. Maybe that's uh, her way of uh, showing her friend, look, I'm making fun of him. And then it occurred to me that actually their playfulness might actually become cruelty in other set of eyes. So her sign, the two fingers pointing up, the V sign, you could say, it's a bunny sign for pictures where I'm, where I'm from, but it also can mean scissors. So basically she is uh, signaling to her friend, should I cut that nice tube here? And then we get the scissors in her other hand. And as a finale, the other one just raises her hand and gives her an approval thumbs up. And as you can see, all that happened in the last minute or so, when I had to delete and erase the w second one that was in the back and add the playfulness together. So ideas come and go, they pop up right away and uh, it's up to you to decide and see if you can fit them in, to decide on the go if they're going to fit the image, your idea and your story you're telling. I kept the mermaids in separate layers. The ones on the back were on a layer behind the layer of the diver or under him in the layer order. 
as uh, the one that is in front is of course over the other layers that way it's easier to draw and keep track of them as long as you pay attention and now let's take one final look at the finished time lapse again i hope you liked this video and that it was entertaining or useful for you it is my first commentary one so let me know what you think i would really like to know and uh, thank you for watching